Okay, this is the movement. We're going to connect up the power and the signal and see what happens. So, these are my power connections. Oh, I've got a little power supply here. But you may be connecting this to the car or a 12 volt power supply. So, I've got my power to the power connection. I've got ground to the chassis of the movement, to the metal body of the movement. Then, I've got my signal cable, which I'm not using the phone because I'm using the phone to do the videoing. So, I'm using the output from my computer. Um, now the ground wire, which will be the black wire from the calibration cable, goes to the chassis again, and the signal wire goes there. Now, I've got a signal, and straight away I can tell that that is trying to go the wrong way. That, if I disconnect that and flick it, you'll see, that's nice and free. When I connect the signal, I can tell from that that the meter moves trying to go the wrong way. And what that's telling me is that when I connected these two wires, black wire and the red wire, they're the wrong way around. You'll notice that I've got my red wire to where the red mark is and the black wire on the other side. That's the way that um, they're fitted in the factory, but they're fitted the opposite way around to the way we need to do it. So what I'm going to do now is just swap those over. I'll turn the power off first. It might seem a bit long-winded me going through this, but it happens quite often. So, we'll just drop those wires off. It's not a big deal. Just to resolve them on the other way. It's a bit of a handful. I'm trying to do it to get the camera to see it at the same time, but there we go. There's the back one. Red one's a little bit short now, but... Get him to reach. There we go. Now, I've got the power on. I should find. There, the meter's moving. And it's moving the right way. Success. So that's the end of this video. What I'll do in the next video is. Um, Go through the calibration process. Thanks.